I, I, I've spoken with uh, Senator Stappen and asked if she would mind that I just slipped uh, ahead of her. And uh, Rob Portman's not here yet. And uh, just take 60 seconds to speak on uh, the amendment. I think it's listed as number okay. nine. It's my amendment number number four. Right. I want to thank you for uh, thank Senator Stappen. Yeah, that. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, I've joined uh, Senator Toomey and uh, Senator uh, Brown on uh, an amendment that requires CMS to establish some important preventive steps to curb uh, the fraudulent diversion of prescription drugs, something we've held uh, extensive hearings on in uh, Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee. Our amendment uh, requires better sharing of anti-waste and fraud data between CMS and the prescription drug plans. Uh, it also would take a key action to uh, curb uh, fraudulent activity when that activity is identified. And we don't uh, plan on calling for a vote on our amendment. However, it is our hope that uh, Senator Toomey, uh, Senator Brown, and and myself, along with our staffs, can work with, again with your staff, Mr. Chairman, and that of uh, Senator Hatch on these, uh, on these issues. They're important issues. I, I think we can find some common ground. I think we're pretty close in on what steps ought to be taken and include some modified version of this amendment as the bill proceeds to the Senate floor. And the only other thing I would say, there's going to be a voice vote on the uh, Stabenow Amendment, and while I will not be here to, to say aye, I would say aye right now. But thank you very much for yielding to me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, thank you, Senator. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Toomey. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I just want, I want to thank uh, Senator Stabenow for uh, yielding to Senator Carper and thank Senator Carper for the terrific work on this. Just say briefly, uh, there is not a day that goes by without a newspaper story in Pennsylvania about a bust of a prescription drug ring or a fatal overdose of a, usually a young person who very, very often gets addicted to prescription drugs and then slides down to the point where they are routinely using heroin as the, the um, more affordable alternative that ends up in their death by overdose. It is an absolutely horrendous tragedy of a scale that is shocking. And this legislation, I think, or some similar variation thereon, is very likely to curb the access to prescription drugs that are leading to this. Uh, so I'm, I'm very grateful for uh, everybody that is um, helping. I, I certainly hope we'll have broad support within the committee to, to find the solution in, in the legislation on the Senate floor. But this is a really important problem in Pennsylvania and across the country. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman.